Hello everybody, my name is Kendall and welcome back for another video of Lake. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Love playing this game for the first part. Obviously, it's just a demo still. But uh, we're ha I'm having a lot of fun, so let's just hop on back of my car. We're in uh, 3W right here, so uh, 300. So just gotta take the package for the 300 right here. There's a already a girl working on a car. Uh, I don't know if it's for her. It's a it's a garage or it's like it's just a, a gas station basically, so I uh, the type my uh, former job basically. So I wonder if she's the one working uh, here or what's going on here. But uh, I'll just deliver the mail I guess over here. Uh, do I deliver here or do I need to talk to the girl that's uh, literally right here? So Hi there. I guess I do have to talk to her. Luckily, I don't have a mustache. Uh, I don't think a mustache would sim me, uh, suit me. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, ha, real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Well, aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? Well, I'm just gonna say, uh, does that count if he's oh, my father? Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father's been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Uh, sure. Alright, I'll promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. What about the radio? He only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, thanks, Lori. No problem. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Miss W, huh? I like the sound of that. All right, let's keep going, boys. Sounds like a nice girl. That's a nice girl, all right. Sounds like a nice one. I gotta keep moving right here. We got a job to do. This one was short and precise. Really good. She uh, liked to talk. We can probably come by anytime we want here. Just uh, for, for gas and stuff. Toggle radio. Let's see. So we got the radio on there. I don't know if the music... Maybe because I toggled off the music, right? Um, we're probably not going to hear anything, but we do have the radio on, so... I think it's over there. I mean, from my looks, from the looks of it, right? If I look on my map... Yeah, it's on the middle of nowhere. It's uh, literally in the middle of nowhere. In the woods. Alright, let's keep going then. It's in the middle of nowhere in the woods. I know, at least I know where I'm going a little bit. Holy shit! Good lord, man. That's a... Uh, oh, I went a little bit too fast there. All right, so this is the place, the place right here, boys. I'm gonna have to uh, jump back down. All right, so this is the middle of nowhere. It's camping zone right here. It's a beautiful place, though. I uh, hope in winter, though, it doesn't rain or anything, or it doesn't, like, it doesn't snow because that would be absolute garbage There's of a place a for winter. So a rare site for a secluded uh, lumberjack. A rare site for a secluded lumberjack. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I'm here to deliver mail and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the? I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and it's not your fault. This is full of bull crap. It sure isn't. It sure isn't my fault. I don't know what was in that letter, but it doesn't sound good from the louts of it, but uh, from the sound of it. But it's not my problem. I'm only delivering the mail. I'm not doing anything else. Okay, so uh, do we have any other mail? I think all my lists are gone, right? I think every everything's gone. So I think we delivered everything we wanted. So. We can return back, so um, now I'm guessing just autopilot there. Yeah, I think we can just autopilot there. Oh, so he, she just drives? Okay. 
No, if she's just gonna autopilot like that, I'm not gonna allow that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna instead, we're gonna fast travel there, uh, which is E. Uh, e, there we go. We're just gonna fast travel there. And uh, just like that, there we go. We're back in town, boys. So there's the uh, general store. I pretty much finished with my job. I was an easy job. An easy day right there. So pretty yeah, pretty much an easy one. Uh, is that the post office? There we go. There it is. I think I'm done, right? I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, do I have to... What about the tab? Show delivery list? Or uh, tab? Did I deliver everything? Oh, 207 Main Street. Which one is that though? I think it's this one. It does go to uh, the general store. So I think that's the one that it goes to the general store. Which is uh, pretty interesting to be honest. The day's not off yet, boys. We got one last thing to do. We gotta go to the general store. I, I hope it's the right place. It is. Okay. So it is what two. It was 207. I gotta remember that. Can I help you? Hello? Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Actually, it's only temporarily? Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, that's kind of weird. All right, so we're done here. Uh, we're definitely done. So all we need to do is return to the post office, which I will do gladly, boys. I don't know why one of my shift button doesn't work and the other one does. That's interesting. So uh, I don't know if I gotta bring back the car with me, the van. It's already there. I'm creating uh, traffic right now so but I don't really care I don't really care if I create traffic or not I just need to go back to the office all right so let's see is there anything else I need to deliver here any new mail or what's going on here do I have to uh, do anything and the work day okay so that's what I was supposed to do hello hi Meredith it's mom how are you how's the job I'm doing great. Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Well, I can't imagine that. Uh, it must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coin. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Sounds like they're having a fun time. So what do I do now for my end day? Open agenda? What is that? I got an agenda? Really? What the hell? Now it's got now it's gonna be uh, super uh, convoluted, boys. If there's stuff that needs to happen, so that's interesting. All right, so uh, stay uh, home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. Watch TV. What would I read a book hmm. for? Come on now. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has really? anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen unpacking the new tableware. Henri. <laughs> Someone call me. Oh my god, this is so bad. I can already tell this show so bad, boys. With canned laughter and everything. How can I watch this? Alright, well. Brand new day, I'm guessing. Because we got a bunch of new packages. Uh, or do we already have all of it in it? Is it already in? It's already in. All right. Uh, let me close that door up. We already have locations to go at, boys. So brand new day. Let's start it up with our first location, which... Um... Oh, we got the radio on now. All right. Let me just see really quick, though. First off, 
Uh, I do have, so first things first, I got to go on that positive side. So I, I better go off in that side first uh, before going all the way there and the, towards these streets and stuff. It's just a bunch of mail anyways to finish the day off. We'll do the mail uh, afterwards. So we're going to start with that, the packages. Then we'll head off with the mail and a pa another package probably. And then uh, we'll have head off towards there. So um, head out over there, boys. Let's do that. What's it going to be? Positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm. Mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. Kind of weird, man. The radio and stuff. Kind of weird the way they act. Feels like uh, there's going to be some sort of big thing, a uh, climatic event or something that's going to happen. Am I gonna discover that these all all these people are like crazy people and stuff? I I don't know. So we got a bunch of mail for all these guys, I guess. These two uh, different hmm. neighbors. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations. Probably, probably because the way it sounds right now, it sounds like uh, it's kind of weird. It is weird that uh, they both have the same like. They both have uh, something going on right now, so I, I don't know. Kind of weird. We do have our first package coming by right here. They're basically close to each other. I wonder did what this place is. It's a bookstore, I imagine. Uh, we got our first package in this place right here. It's wide open, so you can see where we gotta go. Uh, the Flick Shack. That seems ominous. I don't know what uh, what's over there, so... That's Main Street. Uh, what do I... What's the address? What's that? Uh, what's the address for that one right here? Uh, is that like just Main Street or video rental store? Okay, don't know which one that is. Main Street. I imagine it's th it's gotta be this one because it's the only one that's on Main Street. So it's gotta be this one, boys. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and enter. Back to the Future. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Back to the present. What the hell? A uh, Robert Zemis Zemeckis film, so they still it's still made by Rob Robert Mez uh, Zemeckis, I guess. Stef uh, Stefan Zavilka presents. Okay, well I, I would love to see that movie, that's for sure. Robert's uh, Back to the Present, boys. Oh, we got some uh, we got some Karate Kid shit, the Gremlins as well. We got Look Who's Here to save us all. Go Ghost Blasters. What the hell? Oh, this is awesome, boys. This is uh, this is my place, all right. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. What do you mean? I look the same thing as a... Uh, well, I could say the same thing about you. Well, is, is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Well, I used to live here, then I didn't, and now I'm back. <laughs> well, I grew up here, and now I'm back to uh, to do my dad a favor, I guess. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Oh, Touché, all right Mrs. then. Eastman. Miss. So your dream was to rent out videotapes? So your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, you got a point. You certainly have a lot of them. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? What kind of movie is that? <laughs> A little on the nose. Well, my kind of humor, I guess. My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. 
<laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. Alright, I'll check it out if I have the time, I guess. Alright. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Seems like a nice woman, a nice girl, boys. So uh, we got uh, we got a bunch of movies here. If you want to watch something and stuff like that. So this is 351 Main Street. Okay, got you. We got the address for this. Uh, next part, it's right across the streets on the right. Uh, we just gotta go. So uh, we got. She's pretty far away though for um, for the thing. Pretty far away. I mean, it's convenient for these people, but for other people, I I don't know. All right, so uh, we got across the streets. We got our first. Uh, we got a mail right here. Let's exit the uh, the van really quick. We got uh, we got a, a quick mail. So let me just uh, do that. Get it right here. There we go. Get it inside, boys. All right. So there's the mail, and we're gonna hop on into the van, and we're gonna deliver our thing. We're gonna deliver our whole uh, thing. So. We got a package coming by. Is the package for this place or... But well, it's Pine Street, right? Uh, do I have... I uh, have the tab, right? So if I press tab really quick, I have my thing. It's... Um, four, 402 and, and second of Pine Street. So 400 and second... Is that the same place or... Hold on. What is it? Uh, 402. Okay, it's right here. Right here, boys. All right, let's uh, let's deliver the package really quick. It's funny because I actually am calling for a package in real life right now, calling for food. So it's kind of it's funny really that fun. uh, it, it's kind of funny that I'm getting a, a deliver a, a package delivered to me. Well, basically food delivered, while I'm doing a postman job on the game. Very funny, boys. All right, uh, let's ring the doorbell. Commander Grace. We have established communication with ground control. How do you the wish hell's to going on here? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Okay. Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Well, sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. Well, I didn't expect to see you here. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. Well, you lived in Providence Oaks all this time. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes. I married Barry Evans. I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you, my girl. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Well, I guess so. Time flies. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Kitchen caught fire. I must have just missed your uncle there. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said... A lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Oh, you do? Alright. Let's well, take over the family business. Let's compare, uh, let's compare notes. Well, that's great. Maybe I'll drop that's by great. sometime. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll 
little siege. Ready what, you don't want to see me? Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. Okay, see then. Around, <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. So an old friend of ours lives here. Okay. Very strange. And she doesn't seem to be, like, friendly to me too much. I don't know why she's preventing herself from talking to me. Or she doesn't even want me to visit her on her workplace. Like, why? It's kind of weird. It's kind of a little bit weird, boys. I'm not going to lie. All right. So we do have... Uh, let me... There we go. Let me zoom out. The next steps is just... Oh, my God. Wow. We got the lever all the way there. All right, we are going to have to fast travel to the woods. But first off, let me fast travel here. Uh, we're going to get the waypoint all the way over there. It's on the right, so I should be all right. I should be able to find that pretty easy. I don't need a waypoint uh, per se. Uh, let me just fast travel there first. All right, so we're going to fast uh, fast travel. I'm going to go uh, there. It's on the right. Let's keep going, boys. It's a nice, beautiful scenery, by the way. This game looks beautiful. Uh, and uh, it is pretty great. It's a really good game. I, I really love this game so far. It's well, I feel like I'm having a good time and stuff. The dialogue's pretty fun, all that good stuff. So uh, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm having a fun time. I'm gonna having a, a fun time. I'm not gonna lie. I am, although I am crashing into a bunch of places right now. It seems like uh, the first melt we gotta deliver is over here. So let me deliver this melt first. Now uh, it's pretty or oh, it's pretty straight up. Hey, I thought I wouldn't years. have any other packages to uh, to get, but I, don't think they ever mentioned I, I, I guess I'm going to have more packages to do. This is n right beside my house as well, right? This is my house right there. Yeah, it is. So we got an actual package that we had to deliver right beside my house, which is interesting. All right. So we do have to go around. I'm going to go around or I'm going to keep going right here. Okay. Yeah, just keep going right here, boys. Uh, I'm gonna wait uh, a little bit before continuing, boys. Oh, we got a, a mail for the for the lady right here. All right, I'm just gonna wait it out a little bit, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. I do have to uh, go check for my food. All right, boys, I'm ready to continue. I'm back. Just went by and got my food really quick in real life, and right now we're about to deliver this mail. Something tells me it's not gonna be simple. The old lady's probably gonna want to talk to me. Meryl, I knew it. So What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. What? He's what is it? He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. Okay, well, what, you want me to bring it to a vet? I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, he's almost catatonic. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Did you know who knows about animals, though? It's Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Sure, I guess I can bring it up to him, but I'm not going to have to pay for his ser for the services, aren't I? I'll get right on it. Here, little kid, come on. Well, sure. all right, I'll, get right I'll do it. it. Why you not? I'll do it. I mean, I'm not going to refuse, but... Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. All right, I'm going to be friendly towards her, but... Uh, okay, Wh what the hell? I'm bringing traffic now? Okay, so um, I got to... I gotta enter my car first off. So uh, have a seat, my uh, my little uh, my little one. Just gonna go in. Uh, sorry for the traffic, everybody. Sorry for the traffic. So far, I'm really enjoying this game, boys. I, I gotta really tell you. Uh, oops, I, I probably I probably should uh, bring the cat in there, even though it's not a good idea to do that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> I mean. What are you going to do, right? It's not the right thing to do with an animal. Just bring it at your goddamn door. That's not good, but um, hopefully the cat's going to be all right. 
I mean, I am a mailman. I don't deliver animals, though. It's kind of a weird one. All right, so what do we have to do here? So uh, we're pretty much pressed on time. Bring him order to uh, Mr. K. So I do have to do that. Uh, if I want to do that, I'm going to place, uh, place a waypoint. It's right over there. I can autopilot there, but uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fast travel to the main street. And we're going to go, we're going to go right back. We're going to go right back. We got to go on the left right here. So we got to go quick and deliver that cat before it dies out on me and stuff. I don't want to have a, a, a dead cat in my goddamn uh, trunk. That would be bad, boys. That would be very bad. So let's just go ahead and deliver that cat. Ain't that something, though, man? I'm driving the Germaniac, though. I'm not even following the road properly. All right, so the vet is right over there in the middle of the woods. You would have thought the vet would have been like in a, in a nice, like in a more uh, be, in a better place, not a secluded area and stuff. All right, so I do have to get the cat. Let me bring up the cat really quick. It seems like a support. It's like a place for boats. How the hell am I gonna? Who the, what the hell is he going to do with a cat, boys? How is he going to help me? Uh, I don't know, but that's kind of weird. Okay, let's let's find out really quick if he can help me. Oh, I can't go there. Of course, it's the other person, uh, route. Of course it is. Oh, God damn it. There's a bunch of uh, things in my way. All right, so uh, let's go over there. Try to sprint a little bit more. Walk a little bit faster, boys. Help over here. The cat uh, needs help, Mr. buddy. Mackey? I know you're close, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas, kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were AI, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Oh my god, really? Is she really doing that? Well, I have no idea. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Oh, well, sounds good. Sounds good. Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. All right. Well, we got the cat uh, safety sound over here. I guess he's going to take care of uh, of that cat, whatever that means. So uh, we now have only one package remaining to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait it out. Uh, that package, I think... It's a good place to stop it. So this was pretty much a demo for us. Um, now we got plenty of time still to play with the demo. But uh, by the time we're going to get the next video, boys, we're, I'm probably pretty much going to be playing the real game. Uh, it's going to, I'm going to have, uh, the real game is going to be out. So I'll see you once the real game is out. If I have to redo the entire section over here and stuff, I'll do it. Uh, until then, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, uh, this game so far. See you guys uh, for the next video. Keep it easy.